Hey, Coach. Yes. Nick Jenkinson, South Central Indiana News Network. Tomorrow, 19 points off the bench. He's really come on the last couple games. Talk about what he's done the last couple games to make this team better. Well, I mean, guys are going to have to step up. You know, we're a little shorthanded. And, you know, tomorrow's starting to figure it out. And, you know, he's done some good things for us throughout the 13 games that we've played. Um, it's just that his minutes now are going to increase because we're going to, we're going to need him to step up and play and make plays for us. Coach, after the way the Kansas and Arizona games went, is there something almost reassuring in seeing your team face adversity in a game again and, and this time be able to finish the job and, and close it out? Well, again, you know, I don't like to look backwards. You know, Arizona and Kansas were two games that we just didn't show up. And they taught us how to play hard in those two particular games. And, um, you know, I thought tonight, you know, I tipped my hat to Coach Raheem and his team uh, because I thought they played harder than we did the first half. And I thought the second half we started to lock in defensively and figure some things out, and it didn't hurt that we were making some shots. So that helped. Uh, Mike, speaking of the second half, what went into the offensive adjustments of moving Ray's to the top of the key and those kind of different things? Well, again, I mean, we, we opened the floor up a little bit um, to give Safino some room to work with the basketball um, as well as Gallo. And tomorrow was on the back end of a lot of it, you know, and, and getting shots. And I ran a few things for tomorrow to get shots, and he, he delivered for us. Um, I thought Miller's shot coming down the stretch was one of the biggest shots of the game as well to give us a little bigger cushion to, to secure the win. But it was a total team effort. We just kind of opened the floor up a little bit offensively. Yeah, Coach, I just wanted a big picture question on your offense. You guys currently rank outside the top 100 in offensive efficiency against top 100 opponents. What are three or four things maybe you want to adjust or improve between now and Big Ten play starting? To, to well, we got to get some healthy bodies back. That will help. Um, you know, I mean, the way teams are playing when, when we had Trace, you know, and, and hopefully he'll be back after the break, um, you know, they were doubling, and that's not going to change. So guys got to be able to make shots on the perimeter. I mean, it's just that simple. If we post in the ball some, they doubled race tonight and and we got good looks um, and guys knocked some shots down, which we needed. And that's what's going to have to happen as we continue. I guess my God, and Trace, just where is he in, in terms of basically, especially with this break coming, do you feel like he'll be fresh and, and ready for Big Ten play in January? Well, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping he's going to, this break will allow him to rest a little bit more and and um, and he come back ready to go. Uh, Tamar Bates is obviously always out there like two hours before tip-off getting work in. What has he shown you as far as his work ethic just in practice and beyond of just getting in the gym, getting that work in? Well, again, you know, all our guys work. You know, I mean, they have to. I mean, it's a, it's mandatory that they work. So, you know, I'm not surprised. I mean, he's, you know, he's put in the time and and he's got, getting some more minutes now and and he's been able to knock some shots down for us. But, you know, I mean, it's it's what he's capable of doing. That's what I expect. You know, when I run plays for him, I expect him to, to deliver. And, and I thought tonight he did. Outside of getting healthy, you have 13 days off until your next game. What's the focus for the team over that time? Well, again, they'll go home for three, four days and visit loved ones and, and uh, I'll be here waiting on them. You know, I'm not going anywhere for Christmas. I'll be here in Bloomington, and uh, when they get back, uh, we'll we'll start practicing on I think the 27th or 28th, and uh, get ready for the Big Ten run. Is that last question? I guess Mike asking about tomorrow, and maybe not just tomorrow, but in these last couple of games, he's been part of it. When you don't have X, when you have, don't have somebody who can be so creative like that, how important is it for a guy like tomorrow to give you? 
other wrinkles in terms of his ability to knock down threes, to make shots off the bounce, and just give the offense maybe some diversity when you don't have a guy like X? Well, it's, it's huge. And, you know, Gallo's capable of making plays with the basketball. He's capable of getting in, into the teeth of the defense. And, uh, I mean, we're going to need him. And, um, you know, CJ will see some action as we go along. Uh, Based on matchups, maybe Caleb Banks could be in there. Right now, you know, when you have injuries, you just mix and match and and you hope for the best. I mean, and guys got to be ready to play. That's all I can say. Okay, Coach, I want to thank you. You had something to say, you talked about the fans earlier? Yeah, I, you know, I wish all the fans, you know, for coming out. Uh, they didn't have to do that this evening and uh, to support us, you know, the weather being so bad. I. I want to wish all the fans a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year as well as you guys as well. Enjoy your, your time off.